President Donald Trump says he is looking forward to vetoing a resolution seeking to limit President Trump's power on national emergencies. Now, Trump is looking to use the power of a national emergency to put work towards the wall along the southern border with Mexico. So for this 360 view, we turn to our political panel, Attorney David Katz and conservative commenter Steve Malzberg. Thanks for joining me, gentlemen. I mean, I have to go. The president is actually going to be working against his own party. So, Steve, I'm going to start with you. What does this say that he's going to have to veto something that his own party in Congress, including even Mike Lee, conservative constitutionalist Mike Lee, saying that he thinks the president should not be able to do what he did with declaring a national emergency? What's going on with the GOP? Well, uh, on one hand, you might want to give credit to the GOP for not, you know, just sticking to the party line. <laughs> uh, if they have objections, as in the case of uh, maybe uh, Susan Collins and Lisa Murkowski, maybe in concept against the wall, and then you mentioned Senator Lee and others like Mitt Romney uh, who have problems with uh, the, thinking the president is overstepping his authority, but they favor the wall. As a matter of fact, almost all the Republican senators who voted for this resolution do favor the wall, believe there is an emergency, just don't think the president's going about it the right way. So although I abhor every Republican for voting against uh, um, Donald Trump today, and I would like to see them do what the Democrats do, and that stick together like glue and do as they're told, the Republicans apparently have some character and uh, are true to themselves. Character, is that what you would call it, David? David is a Democrat also watching this Congress that cannot get along over anything. Does it make your heart happy or does it kind of worry you in the fact that Republicans and Democrats in Congress are getting along on this issue? And this is the only issue that we can find them united behind is the fact that they want to both back the president up on his power. Well, this is about Congress and the separation of powers. This is about what the founding fathers had in mind for this country, and it was not emergency declarations like this. And so the concern is, maybe some Democrats are gleeful about it, but the concern is that when a Democratic president comes along, and one will, that he or she will declare a national emergency, and this will be the way that we do business. Instead of Congress having the power of the purse and things running the way the, con the constitutional order ought to run, will be in this new uh, tomorrow, where what happens is that the president will try to get as much money as possible out of Congress. When he or she gets as much money as possible, then he or she will declare a national emergency right. because uh, the uh, global warming is certainly as much of an emergency as building a wall that a lot of people think is really pretty unnecessary and ineffective. Certainly global warming is that much of an emergency. The president will declare a national emergency and then really it'll take 67 votes in both the Senate and in the House to stop the transfer of funding. Let's say it's right. from the military to greening projects for the green agenda. Uh, the, it'll take 67 votes in both the House and in the Senate. And true conservatives ought to be appalled by that. Every Republican really ought to vote against that. There'll be a list of hypocrites right. come along the Democratic president of those Republicans who are allowing this usurpation of Congress's rights. But David, I have to tell you, Donald Trump did not come up with the idea of declaring a national emergency. Republicans and Democrats have done it. The problem is, is Obama and Bill Clinton and even George Bush declared national emergencies dealing with other countries that didn't even touch the United States, dealing with other issues. But so these same Republicans, but, but yes. these same Republicans howled about the fact that uh, Obama declared a national emergency, which was much smaller bore than to build a wall for billions of dollars taking money from other allocated funded projects, allocated funds by Congress, and take it and use it for a purpose that the president wants. The president is not a king. Well, Congress has the power of the purse. Right. Well, but Steve, you well, mentioned character. Do we expect the same character to be in Democrats if we ever have a Democrat president and they have to stand up to their own party? Is that, do you expect that to well, happen? Well, well, first of all, this false premise that Republicans are saying, and as our uh, guest, with all due respect, said, is, you know, hey, if you let Trump do this and a Democrat president will do it for global warming, they're going to do it anyway. Anybody who thinks that the, re the Democrats are sitting and watching saying, oh, if he does it, we'll do it, they'll do it. You know they'll do it on guns, on, on climate change, on anything they want. It doesn't matter what happens in this case.
Well, it always matters having there's you on. Of, there's, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of measured acts <laughs> by both Democratic and Republican presidents. Mm -hmm. I admire a lot of them. I worked in the Reagan administration. Right. Democrats and Republicans can exercise restraint, but not with this bad example of the wall emergency, which is not an emergency, nor is it effective. Well, I admire both of you, David and Stephen. David, it's your first time here. I hope you come back. Thanks for joining us. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.